guys, hope you're doing really well today. Um, sort of to share how my morning has gone this morning, I just jumped in to finish off the weekly readings and my camera doesn't work. Well, it, it turns on, but it won't autofocus or anything like that. So basically for some of the readings, the cards are just flat down on the table and I can't lift them up to uh, show you them in the camera. So I do apologize for that. I am rolling with it and taking it as the universe saying, you know what, maybe it's time to uh, not put out as many readings over the next couple of weeks and focus on something else. And I do actually have something that I've been focusing on, um, guys. I've been putting together a four week immersive learned tarot journey. And um, I'm just wondering if that is something that you might be interested in, in, if you want to learn how to read the cards for yourself or for your friends and family. So let me know in the comments if you are interested in that. Um, in my previous career incarnation, I was a digital learning specialist working on global projects. So I'm really experienced in putting together um, a really professional and fun and intuitive journey for you. Um, other than that guys, letting you know you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok. All the links are down below. Also the link should you want to arrange a personal reading, although I won't be able to bring you any emergency readings until I get my camera sorted. So it's going to be camera shopping over the next few days. Um, I wanted to upgrade it anyway, so I guess it's divine timing that is upon me right now. Um, please do subscribe if you haven't already guys, hit the like and leave me a comment. Um, it really does help the videos travel further. Um, the algorithm it's just getting that much tougher for smaller content creators so if you like this kind of content and you want to keep it coming please um, please do uh, yeah please do hit the buttons <laughs> anyway guys take care have a wonderful week see you next time let's head to your reading hi there Gemini welcome to your weekly tarot reading Let's see what may be on the cards for you <clears throat> Gemini I'm getting started here with the work your light oracle We'll be then going to the Moonchild Tarot for a lead tarot energy and I will be using the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot Kashik as your clarifying deck. So let's get the oracles out Gemini. That one, okay. Let's get started. So I have got, oh, the crumbling. What are you clinging on to Gemini? As you can see, this is a little bit like the tower energy where sometimes we need to remove big structures from our lives, maybe a job, maybe a relationship, maybe it's a, it's a home, it's a relocation in order to realign to our true path or get to where we really need to be. Um, it can be a big revelation as well. It says that maybe you are clinging on to or holding on to something Gemini that is not in alignment for you, that was built on a shaky foundation. And, you know, through releasing that, then, you know, you can move on to, you know, what's very much like this beautiful, peaceful place. So we'll see how that plays out. No, I've got trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, Gemini, what would you do? And maybe it's because, you know, there is a new path for you to walk. There is a deeper calling <clears throat> that you're being encouraged to move towards. And it's saying, well, if you didn't have that tower in, the play in place, if you crumbled that and you knew that you would be supported, you know, emotionally, financially, um, whatever it is that you're needing, what would you choose to do for your life, with your life? And just maybe, Gemini, the time is now to, to take some key steps towards that. I really feel like callings is a huge theme uh, of the time that we're finding ourselves in now. Okay, Gemini, let's get out the lead uh, tarot energy here. Okay. Oh, yeah, the chariot. Number seven from the Major Arcana. This is the energy of Cancer. And it's all about forward movement. It's all about, you know, moving uh, away from something so that you can move towards the new. And that transition is a victory for you. Uh, it, it talks about making a really clear, aligned decision from your intention in order to make sure that we really have a, a sort of a smooth um, and quick transition, it's when we're in the two minds, the going back and forth, that we can really sort of procrastinate or be pulled in multiple directions. Um, it often talks about leaving a home, a comfort zone, so it can be relocation energy um, as well. There's a number seven, so it's saying that you have something to attain um, by going through this transition. All right, well, let's see how that all shakes out Gemini 
in the tarot positions, beginning with the energy of recent past energies, leaving, completing, or transitioning, hanged man. Yeah, so you've probably been in limbo for a while and um, and thinking about this. Got the two of cups in the current position, so it could um, it could involve partnership. I did notice that the Seven of Swords was at the bottom of the deck as that came out. We'll see what the other clarifiers are. Okay, interesting. The Four of uh, Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords here. I have got the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Let's grab the clarifiers. Ten of Swords, yeah. So you've been in limbo uh, about an ending. That is the, the tower that we're seeing there, or the crumbling. Um, I do believe that it's most probably to do with a relationship. Um, it doesn't always have to be personal relationship. It can be professional as well. But, you know, generally, generally, this is in the, the realm of, of personal relationships for most of us. Let's get another one more for that. Yeah, thought so. Okay. I have the strength card, Leo, here at the, the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's jump in, Gemini. In your recent past, I have got Ten of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the strength card. So what I'm really seeing here is the resistance to accepting that maybe there is an ending upon you. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is closing up in this reading. Yeah, so there could also be like an, an avoidance of, of communicating something that's on your heart. I often find that as a reader, you know, when my throat closes up, it's it's that constriction of, of the communication channel. So you might have sort of had this on your heart for quite a while. You know, I've got this pull somewhere else. I'm going to have to release something from my life. My relationship's not working out. Or it could be, you know, professional business partnership. I think I'm going to have to transition, but I feel like you've held off on that decision and stayed in hangman mode instead, you know, without the forward movement, um, you know, is a feeling of being in limbo and avoiding the ending because the Ten of Swords ending obviously comes with its pain. We've also got the Three of Swords in this reading. You know that, you know, somebody's going to get hurt. I really feel like it's you initiating this here, um, Gemini. However, even if you are the person to initiate the dissolving of a relationship, it hurts you as well because you've journeyed with that person and you know you are having to release something that has become the familiar, become the known. There could have been a betrayal uh, as well with the Ten of Swords. It does talk about that kind of energy. However, the Ten of Swords carries this beautiful message of that new dawn, that new day, a lot like that beautiful um, vista that we see breaking through the tower energy. Generally, it's an ending. It is a completion and you're being asked to have the strength and courage to, to finally face that, to look at, at that and to actually initiate the transition, um, the moving away from here. This is all about you listening to the higher self and what your intuition really wants, Gemini. Here we have the line which signifies our ego mind that might start coming up and say, oh, but we can make this work, you know, maybe this person will change or I'll be able to change or it's not that bad so that we can stay in that safety of the comfort zone, right? The ego wants to keep you safe. However, we want to really calm that voice so we can hear your intuition because it's really guiding you somewhere else, right? You could be dealing with a Leo as well. So with the hanged man, it is time for liberation uh, and forward movement. Sometimes with the hanged man, there is um, an insight or an aha moment that is yet to land. And it's really what helps you come into a place of um, acceptance. And then that's kind of like the trigger that will release you, right? Um, I did notice that the, the universe, which is the world card, was underneath the strength card there. And you may be familiar with the rider version of the card that when we turn it around like this, it very much has the the same posture of the dancer as, as she jumps through that hoop into the next karmic cycle. So I'm kind of feeling it's the grand completion, because that's what the world stands for, that will release you from this um, holding pattern that you're in. So in the current or focus energy here, Gemini, I've got the Two of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. So Two of Cups, we're dealing with partnership, soul partnership here. Generally love, 
um, can obviously be, you know, in our professional partnerships, as I've mentioned before. The Six of Swords is very much a, you know, rite of passage kind of transition energy. I feel like it is a release energy because of the other cards I have in the spread here. Um, you can see here that this lady, she's walking between two Three of Swords groups here. I've got the Three of Swords in the reading. I've also got the Three of Swords um, indicated in the Four of Swords here. So I'm kind of feeling that you might have already be on a second chance or a second go at this connection so you might have separated or severed at ties before and come back together and it just hasn't worked again the towers you know really ready to fall again because it was always built on a shaky foundation so there could be two heartbreaks or two endings here is something that i'm feeling but you're being called to move forward the scary thing is that we don't really know where we're heading or you might be needing to make a big transition in order to release this, right? You're in your chariot heading into the unknown and that can be scary as well. The Three of Pentacles that says, okay, well, you know, we're going to carry the lessons of the past. You know, this is really a karmic lesson here for you. And, you know, very soon you will be rebuilding your true desires because number three can also be a very creative energy so it's kind of saying that out of this out of this hurt or out of this this disconnection there will be an opportunity to build something that actually is stable using the lessons learned in this situation okay so in your outcome here gemini got quite a few cards here three of wands three of swords six of pentacles and the four of wands so the Three of Wands is like, yes, there will be, you know, hurt here. Um, this is the Heartbreak card. It can be sorrow and all of that kind of thing. But it's also a three. And I'm really feeling this energy of after you recover from this, you're really going to be moving towards the real deal here and creating something really solid and stable for your life. You know, it's usually out of our times of pain that sometimes we really do have a quantum leap towards um, our truth because we're very very vulnerable and cracked open and often very much in heart energy when we're going through hurt so that's what I'm really feeling here it's like after you recover from this there's going to be a breakthrough in the way forward and that could be you know also the insight that you need um, when you're in that hanged man mode to actually um, move forward also you might be at the crossroads for a little while, Three of Wands, but Three of Wands is this really beautiful energy of having disconnected from the past and turned your back on it. You've realized that, you know, that's no longer for you. And now you're really just looking from the present moment forward and you're really feeling just in that moment the, the taste of the new successes on the horizon for you. So I really feel that things are going to shift quite quickly for you. Um, keep in mind, you know, that there might be a recovery period as well, but I do feel that you are being guided. I mean, trust your path. You know, spirit is with you on this journey and is trying to redirect um, you somewhere for absolute sure. And that could just be because um, it was a really divine time for those tables to turn. The Six of Pentacles for me is an energy of, you know, getting ready to receive and getting ready to receive uh, harmony and balance in your life so it says that if you if the the situation was very out of balance and and everything this is the time for the evening the karmic evening evening up and the four of wands here is interesting because we're, we're bringing down a tower we're crumbling down something that wasn't built on a solid foundation but the four of wands talks about great stability security you know the four sides of a square very stable structure and one that can also deliver you joy, love, harmony, and balance. So it really says that the next the next beginning um, in partnership could be just absolutely flourishing and fabulous. And that's why we needed to make this transition. Of course, sometimes it only makes sense, Gemini, when we're down the track and we're looking back and we're able to connect the dots. So it could be that the next person you meet, if this is in a romantic situation is the one that you get engaged to or married to or move in with and start creating a home with or if this is in business you know it's the next venture that gives you the abundance and stability and the even connection that you need to to really build this kind of sense of happy ever after that we see depicted in the four of wands 
Gemini, I'm wishing you all the best with this. Please do take care if this is your reading. Um, do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective, so it won't be everybody's story this week. Drop me a comment and let me know how you found this reading, um, if it resonates for you. I do read them all, guys, and try to interact with you all over there as well. And it's been a pleasure to read your cards, Gemini. I'll see you back here for another one next week. Bye for now. Yeah.